In this video, we're going to talk about the new incoming cargo changes and how it's going to affect you and I, as well as the new schedule for the experimental mode for Arena Commander. Let's talk. The newly created NAPU team has been formed to develop features for the persistent universe. As of late, they've been focused on cargo related features. These include physicalized cargo, in-game shops, and potential exploration features. They even worked on the Miss Hall C. At the moment, they've been working on the technical design and planning of the future of the cargo system. This comprises of freight elevators, instant hangars, and persistent hangars. Freight elevators introduce a new way to move cargo from storage to your ship and vice versa. Freight elevators are introduced as an access point within player hangars. Players will use kiosks to interact with the freight platform, allowing them to manage cargo, load and unload items, and access small items without going to a hangar. Instance hangars help address the issue of players spending an extended amount of time in a hangar causing bottlenecks with the ATC. These instance hangars allow player time to move cargo from their personal space over to their ship and vice versa. Persistent hangars present a step towards player ownership in the game. This allows players to store and customize their hangars. These hangars will be used to store various items, including weapons, cargo, and more. They also discussed the introduction of inventory container boxes, which players can use to store and transport items efficiently. These containers have properties like fragility or radioactivity to add depth to the gameplay. They also enable the ability for players to pirate player inventories. Inventory container boxes will allow players to organize and optimize cargo loading. They also revealed changes to the cargo grid whereby they're not allowing any size item to attach to them, thereby broadening the possibility for cargo related gameplay. They also looked into extending the cargo handling experience. Instead of instantaneous cargo where items appear in your ship magically, a more physicalized approach is being introduced. This means you will need to manually load cargo into your ship organize it and use a tractor beam to move items around. It aims to add realism and immersion to the game. The intent of this is to cater to different play styles. Players who enjoy manual loading and organizing cargo will have that option. Meanwhile, those who prefer automated loading can use services that will cost more and take a bit longer. Due to these changes, they intend to rebalance the economy and accommodate the new mechanics. High risk, high reward gameplay paths will be available alongside straightforward trading options. They also introduced a new feature of unique item recovery to allow players to reclaim their store bought items and crucial mission items in scenarios where server crashes, bugs, or client crashes arise. Holistically, there is a mandate to add new features in a PU that will drastically improve the level of immersion and depth to the gameplay. In the future, the player base will need to consider safety when out in the verse. As pirates will be able to fully loot ships and inventory containers, shipboarding will also be more prevalent. It takes time to do everything in Star Citizen. With the upcoming changes to cargo, expect to spend more time handling things like cargo and inventory. It will slow down the game a bit and to be honest, I believe this is the original intent of CIG. They want the PU to be more of an alternative reality universe where players can also live in. It's exciting news because I believe it brings us to base building in the PU. Before we move forward, I'd like new people to know that we're doing a giveaway for the month of September. This time it's the Aurora MR. If you'd like to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between the month of September. Let's move on. In other news, CIG released the Star Citizen Alpha 3.20 Arena Commander Experimental Mode schedules. You're going to get Gun Rush from September 17th to the 24th. Master Mode Endless and Vandal Swarm Free Flight and Duel is going to be from September 24th to October 1st. Tank Royale is going to be October 1st to October 7th. October 7th to October 15th is going to be Single Weapon Elimination and Mirror Match. Gun Rush again on October 19th to November 2nd. Vandal Swarm is going to be October 29th to November 2nd. Team Tank Battles is going to be October 15th to October 21st. And Master Mode Endless Vandal Swarm Free Flight and Duel is going to be November 2nd to November 5th. I left the link to this in the description down below. You already know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.